Hi, it's Anna Vaughn, and I think we've come up with a title, Do You Even Mom Bro? What do you guys think? Do you even mom bro? I feel like this whole podcast is not really about parenting. It's about life. It's about the things that people are going through. Uh, adults. It's for adults. It's not about millennials or startups or backpacking or you know what the next generation is going through. It's about adults. It's about what people over 30 are doing as parents, as entrepreneurs, as world travelers, as trailblazers. This is really a podcast where we can explore together some of the topics that are not being discussed. I don't know about you, but like one of my major frustrations is that we're living in a time where we have so much access to information, but we don't. It's like there's preferred information. You know, that's why YouTube has 4 million videos about how to cut your bangs or like do contouring, but there's almost no presence at all of single parents who are thriving. There's a lot of information about a few topics out there, but no one's, when I look out, I don't see a lot of people representing me or talking about the things that I want to talk about. You know, something that I was discussing recently, I was in Mexico City, this is coconut water by the way. Mm. They put it in these bottles, they're old wine bottles, they refill, they refill the bottles with fresh coconut water at one of the places by my house. Only 30 pesos, that's two Canadian dollars. Not to rub it in, but also brag, brag, brag. And now I'm like, it's just like another thing I can't live without. It's like a liter of coconut water a day. Um, but yeah, it's like I look out at the landscape and I'm not there. And I was talking, it was recently in Day FA and I went out for dinner with a friend of mine who's a 38 year old Mexican entrepreneur without kids. And we were talking about kids, and he was like, well, that must be really, you know, he was talking about his job being really busy, and he was like, well, you know, you're a single parent, so it must be so much harder. And I was like, actually, parenting's not that hard. Like, don't believe the hype. And he was like, what do you mean? And I was like, this is the thing. And I was like, you know, the narrative about parenting is written by a certain portion of the parenting population but it's actually not representative of all of us. It's just a certain portion. And the same people that, you know, watch The Bachelor, you know, the biggest celebration they ever have, the biggest party they ever attend is their wedding. They think they believe in happily ever after. They think babies will fix their relationship. They're, you know, they buy into it. You know, they buy into like what we call like a basic bitch. And not to knock people that do those things because I actually do know a lot of people that are, you know, got married when they were supposed to, bought a house when they were supposed to, did things a certain way, have the Costco membership, watch The Bachelor, can't wait for pumpkin spice latte, go on girls trips to Vegas, you know, the full nine, and they're very happy. And it's not to knock those people. It's just that that is not a representation of the parenting population. And this is obviously a Western paradigm that I'm describing, one that I feel I'm supposed to want. You know, one of the things when I had a kid was I was like, am I supposed to like, get a Costco membership and like spend my Saturday afternoon at the mall now and go on all-inclusives in McDonald's Playland. And to be honest, that's what I saw out there because the people that do those things are the ones who are writing the parenting narrative as if it's, you know, bond for everyone. But the truth is there's a ton of parents out there not doing that and we're just underrepresented. It's like there's a line to toe and if you're not towing it, then you're not represented. And it's the same with entrepreneurs, with people that have wild ideas, especially women. You know, women out there who are, you know, I have a very good friend who's a sex worker. And, you know, our vision of a sex worker is, you know, a down and out, drug addicted, uh, you know, street walker, hooker with daddy issues. And she's none of those things at all. And of course she's not, there's tons of sex workers like her, but they're not represented in the media. And I think not that this blog, this, this podcast is going to be about sex work, but these are the people I want to talk to. I want to talk to the people that are representing a population that is not there. I want to talk to parents about parenting. 
I want to talk to women about being entrepreneurs. I want to talk about travel. I want to talk about the lesbian experience in things that are not the veneer we're presented about what it means to be a lesbian. You know, I mean, I'm just pulling ideas out. But I think the Do You Even Mom Bro podcast is essentially going to be about this outside stuff. Don't think that it will only exclusively be parents on here, but let's face it, it's hard for me to separate out, even though I'm not just a mom, being a mom has completely changed how I look at the world in the same way that being a woman gives me a certain perspective on the world. And it's almost like I can't look at the world without being a mom anymore. Like, yes, I am not just a mom. I'm a woman, I'm an adult. You know, I'm a creator, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a lot of different things, and a mom is one of them. But it's such a huge thing that it really permeates so much of what I do and so much of my motivation and how I do things in the world. So I think it is important to talk to other parents, not necessarily about parenting, but people who maybe are having unique views in the world that came on from parenting. So if this sounds good to you, if this is the kind of thing that you want to get down with, then you can, if you're not already following, if you're listening to this on Patreon, then welcome fam, you're already on board. But if you're listening to this from somewhere else or seeing this from somewhere else, then feel free to go to patreon.com slash travelmamaannavon and follow the podcast. There's new uploads once a week. Sometimes they're interviews and sometimes they're just me talking to camera on different topics. It's fully interactive. I always want to hear your feedback and hopefully we can take this journey together.